So we talked about Melania Trump plagiarizing a speech uh, at her at the RNC uh, two weeks ago, and Donald Trump, amidst that controversy, said, uh, as he famously always, you know, comes out with a tweet. He said, "All press is good press, right?" Well, apparently, all press is not good press because Donald Trump and his campaign has been in hot water as of late with this latest controversy revolving around a fallen soldier's father, Kazir Khan. Now, he had a very emotional speech uh, during the Democratic Convention where he came up there and he asked Donald Trump, do you know what uh, the Constitution is like here? Let me show you and pulled it out of his said, pocket. Have you even read yeah, the Constitution? Yeah, have you even read the Constitution? Like, I will show you what the Constitution is like here. You can have mine. It was really emotional and kind of awesome. It was like a big fuck you to a lot of people that always, especially on the Republican side, they like to talk about their um, constitutional rights and how they want to protect them when in reality most of them have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a generalization. I'm not going to say most of them don't know. But some people that do talk about this sort of stuff, especially like freedom of speech, for example, don't really realize exactly what freedom of speech protects. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously it's a debated issue. Trump responded to this controversy and, and the way he always does by going on ABC's This Week and he asked whether Ghazala Khan, uh, Kizer's wife and mother of uh, the soldier, was allowed to speak at all. Now this is kind of a racist statement because, I mean, I know Islam isn't a race and whatever and you're going to fucking shit on me for that, but it was, it was fueled by this weird bigoted idea that Muslim women aren't allowed to speak. And then uh, Ghazala actually wrote an awesome piece uh, responding to that and said, no, I actually didn't want to respond because I get really sad when a photo of my son is superimposed behind me and I just didn't feel like speaking at that moment. And uh, I think we all know that Trump is a total asshole in this, in this situation. Um, so. John McCain also had a statement. He said, I claim no moral superiority over Donald Trump. I have a long and well-known public and private record for which I will have to answer at the final judgment. And I repose my hope in the promise of mercy and the moderation of age. I challenge the nominee to set the example for what our country can and should represent. As you know, Donald Trump and John McCain had uh, a bit of a falling out earlier on in the primaries when Donald Trump basically Just used... John McCain uh, and questioned his record, being that Donald Trump has never, uh, he dodged Vietnam War uh, due to a fracture on his foot that he can't even point to. He doesn't know which foot it was even. It's bullshit. Um, and then also has even gone on Howard Stern and talked about how all the sex that he was having in his youth was like his own personal Vietnam. I think Donald Trump is not the perfect person to talk about sacrifice, specifically sacrifice for your country. Just because you open up fucking golf uh, clubs all around the world or you've negotiated many business deals doesn't mean you sacrifice shit. Anyway, I'm sorry. I get emotional I when we're it's talking okay. about Donald Trump. Uh, I, I want right. to hear what you think. Well, I also think that you were kind of touching on a good point, which is we can't, uh, you can't qualify sacrifice as success. They're not the same. Um, and yeah, he has had some business success, but to equate that with sacrifice, especially what the, the sacrifice that um, the Kazir is at, yeah, Kazir yeah, Khan. the Khan family has ha you know gone through this this whole story. It's been in the news a lot recently, and it really breaks my heart because then you go to Twitter, and unfortunately, I I do check uh, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton's Twitter pages in the morning because it's a good way to just keep track of where their campaigns they feel are going, <laughs> and um, he he's dragging the Khan family on Twitter, and it's just this is you know the world is watching. I and, and however whatever party. Um, you affiliate yourself with or ho however you intend to vote, at least do what you can to ask your candidate to elevate the discourse so that we're not dragging the family of a fallen soldier, of, a, of, a, of an American soldier who sacrificed his life for his family. And to bring the, the, the mom into this, uh, they, didn't, they didn't ask for this. Do you know what I mean? That, that's what I think really breaks my heart. Donald Trump has asked for the spotlight. He is, he's gone you know, to seek the nomination. Well, technically, and they also did because that. they went to the DNC and delivered a right, speech. Right, but, but, but they didn't ask for their son to be dead, yes. to be put 
put exactly. into that spotlight, to be put in the public scrutiny. And I think that Khan actually did, uh, he, he issued a statement, I think it was, um, Yes, he says, and uh, yet a private citizen in this political process in his candidacy for the stewardship of his country, I cannot say what I feel. And what he's basically saying there um, is, that was on the Today Show, is that he, again, what I'm saying, he didn't he didn't ask for this. He's a private citizen yeah. who has been inserted into the public discourse. And Donald Trump, you, you he has to respect this. And it's just the, the complete lack of disrespect. Everything's cannon fodder for Donald Trump. It, Donald Trump only cares about one person, and that's Donald Trump. I don't even think he cares about his family that much, yeah. to be honest. And I'll fucking, I'll say that. Uh, I, I don't, like, I truly believe that he only cares about advancing his personal brand. And anything that comes along the way is cannon fodder for him. He doesn't care. That's why he can go out and say, oh, I don't know if Russia did this. Maybe China committed the hacks against the DNC. When you're the leader of the free world, you can't go out there without any sort of intelligence and just completely blame another nation. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't do that. Yeah, you can't go out there and disparage the family of, uh, the, that committed the ultimate sacrifice for their country. By the way, they were immigrants, Donald. They were immigrants. Mm -hmm. They moved here. His son was so moved that he wanted to serve in the ROTC, he wanted to serve for his country. More than I can say about what Donald Trump has done so far. Yeah, I'm just, I'm sad that it's gotten to this point. This, it's just so ugly and so sad, uh, and we're so far away from November, and I just want this to fucking stop. All right, um, we wanna hear what you guys think. <laughs> On that note. We wanna hear what you guys think. Uh, are you voting for Donald Trump? And if so, why? I really do wanna know. I wanna understand at this point of the race why people are still thinking that Donald Trump will be better for the country, whether you like Hillary or not. I just, I still wanna know. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm Hassan Piker, this is Grace Baldrige, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.